In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to read an Excel file in Java. For that, we've created a new Java project in Eclipse named Open Excel File and a class Read Excel in the Package Reader. So one thing we need to read Java file is the JXL library, which does the I.O. operation of the Excel files. To do that, let's open up jxlapi.sourceforge.net and click on Files. On this page, click on JXL API. Select the latest version, and on the next page, download the zip file. Once your download is complete, open the file and extract it through a location. Now we have downloaded the JXL library needed to do the I.O. operations on the Java files. Now the next step is to import the library to our project. For that, go to Eclipse, move over File, and click on Import. Select the file system directory here and click on Next. Over here, click on Browse and select the path where you downloaded the JXL library. With that done, select the jxl.jar file and now browse and select your project where you want to import the library. With all of that taken care of, simply click on Finish. Now you can see jxl.jar in your Project Explorer. Right-click on it, hover over to Build Path, and click on the Add to Build Path option. Now let's copy the code that is used to read the Excel file. Paste the code to the Project class. Now let's quickly go through the code. In the main method, we are creating an object test of our class. In the set input file method, give the path of the Excel file you want to read. As written here, our Excel file is in the E drive named excel.xls. In this file, we have some labels written. Now let's go through the read function. First, we open the file using file descriptor file. Then we created a workbook object to access the Excel file. You can get the reference of the file using the get workbook method. The getSheet method allows you to access the sheet of the workbook. The getColumn and getRows method returns the column and rows of the file, and the getContent method returns the content of the file. So now let's run the program, and you can see that the contents of the file appear in console. And that's it.